morning. Uh, you're here at xable.com and uh, we're starting out at uh, the Tampa Generals Michigan Storm game and we have a referee standing right in front of the mic, uh, the camera. Could you slide over just a little bit? Sure. With me is Mike Whitehead from the Canadian team playing with the uh, Hub Round uh, Gunners. Yeah. And uh, we're looking forward to exciting. This is the 7-8th uh, uh, seven, eight eight. game. Yeah. And interesting enough, this was the 7th and 8th seed. So they lived up to what we expected. Absolutely. They both deserve to be here. They did. They had some good playing, and we wanted to make sure we covered. We're, being that uh, X Able has its home in Tampa, we didn't want to not cover our Tampa guys. Uh, not that we're going to root for anybody. We love them all. But uh, let's go over uh, these teams. Michigan. Uh, yeah, sure. Well, we got Scott Severin. Is yeah. a three-point. Uh, you know, he's, a, he's a good leader out there, a veteran, and um, has a lot to offer with just his pure size and some speed. Uh, and, he's, a, he's a force out there. Yeah, Brian Sheridan uh, is a uh, great tool. Great tools. I mean, uh, Erica Schmutz, one of the few women playing at uh, in this tournament. We've seen a couple other ones, but uh, yep. you know, Cassie and uh, Joy. But yep. uh, Erica Schmutz also on the Canadian team, right? Yeah, she just got um, got the nod. Did you say A? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, she just got the nod to go to China. She really deserves it. She's worked hard since the day I met her, and that was about uh, five, six years ago. Good. And, uh, and she's from Windsor, Ontario. Windsor, so, okay. Same here. <laughs> okay, Windsor, Ontario, and Andy Zimmer, number three. Uh, an yeah, interesting... I think he's pretty underrated, you know. He's a new guy out there, and I played against him yesterday, and he uh, he really pays attention. He's going to offer something to the team he already has. Well, that's great. And in Tampa, we know uh, Steve Service, number 22. He's uh, He was the best low pointer in the Atlanta Seasonals, Atlantic yeah. Seasonals. And play two, two. Yeah, I practiced with Tampa year round since I moved down down to Florida, and uh, he's improved so much uh, just this year in the last two years. And he's really a, a headsy player. Yeah, just, of course we know Justin Stark did color with me already, yep. and uh, he's the one who organized that uh, famous Tampa tournament. Uh, and uh, just he's really a hard worker. We'll talk more about Justin. Sure. He's a two pointer. Mark Hickey, been around a while. <laughs> I call him the Silver Fox. The Silver Fox. Yeah, yeah. Table, Over ready? 45, he gets that uh, little bit of an advantage, uh, yep. half point deduction. Yep. And uh, Ryan Lindstrom, who's also a tough, tough. Improving with speed and intelligence. It really, uh, it's really fun to watch him grow. As and long as he can Michigan stay. Uh, with the ball, and uh, Ryan Sheridan's going to score easily, and and we're off. We're, Just like that. Nice at, tip off. You're at Quad Rugby Nationals, and this is uh, the last day of play, and uh, we're in uh, Louisville, Kentucky. And it's early. <laughs> and it's early. Uh, it's early in the morning. And Mark Hickey with the ball. And Drag you know, race. Yeah. Erica they couldn't stay up with Mark, but uh, uh, there, there comes Scott, and he uh, put Ryan in there for a score. Yeah. Uh, interesting story about him. Uh, you know, uh, one of the... Ryan Lynch, one of the veterans on uh, this team, was actually a, uh, you know, a veteran uh, uh, going to the veteran games. He is, yep. It's one of his favorite things to do, he says. He uh, really looks forward to that. Oh, nice, nice play like there. a good time. Okay, we're 2-2, two, two, or 2-1, two, I guess. 2-1. Two, one. Yeah, 2-1. Two, you have to be careful what we're watching over there. We got one up there, we got one over there, and yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, just to stop with the ball, and. I'm glad that you came in and do this with me for the first half, and uh, so we could uh, talk also about your game coming up. Uh, yeah. The Gunners are uh, are fighting for uh, the uh, third, fourth place for the game, and exciting. Yeah, the teammates. I'm really proud of the guys on the team. They've really brought it together, and uh, some some of the guys like Rick Marshall, our low pointer, has really picked up his game a tremendously amount. Well, you know, you guys played and beat Denver, which was a fantastic game to watch. And then you guys played very tough against Lakeshore. Yeah. Uh, and uh, you know, I, and here you are facing them again, and there's another score for Tampa. We're, we're up to three to, uh, I don't think the season's kind of figured out yet, but we'll see. Erica Schmutz, uh, we've watched her play at the knock and roll. Yep. And we saw her play some at uh, a Demolition Derby. Woo! So. You know, when she plays with Michigan, she plays with a lot of confidence, and uh, score there. we're hoping that'll resonate with the Canadian team. She, she has some great moments out there. Yeah, well, 
Uh, actually, I also saw her in the Tampa tournament. So she was with Michigan okay. there yep. uh, with a Canadian team. So she's played a um, oh, nice hit by Erica. Nice stop. Yes. That's big. That's big. Mark uh, kind of have to hang in there or look at this. Ryan trying to get going. Justin was open, but he just didn't feel comfortable. And here's the race, and he's going to win that race. That a boy. That a boy. Yep. Tried to do a little reaching in there, but uh, <laughs> not much that uh, Brian could do on that, or uh, was that Scott? Yeah, that, that play is more of uh, just try and hack him as hard as you yeah. can just to get his attention. That's what's there's, fun about this game. You can, can be uh, quite rough at times. There goes Scott. He, for a big guy, he really like can move that. out there, can he? Uh, hard to stop. Yeah. Hard to stop when he gets going, boy. Now, uh, he was uh, best 3 0 at the Heartland Sectionals. Yeah. And he had the MVP in the playoffs that happened earlier than that to get to the sectionals. And so he's come here with a real, you know, intensity and stuff like that. He's got a great game. Absolutely. His commitment to the team is uh, really big. He's, I don't think he's missed a tournament since the day he played. Oh, they did not make it across that time. Tap. Tampa got stopped there, uh, made it tough on them. They ran out of clock time, and uh, that's our first turnover of the game. First turnover. Took a bit. Took a bit. Games like this, when they're going to be tight, turnovers yeah. are at a premium. Yeah, Tampa's down one, and here's a chance for them to go down two. And uh, Tampa's going to go back in the key here and see, uh, see how that shakes. All right. It looks like uh, Mark got knocked out. They gave him the goal. Penalty goal. Yeah, that... Big hit Mark, on the old Silver Fox there, put him uh, out of bounds. I don't think Mark could handle that kind of power <laughs> on it, but... Um, He's going to the box when it was a penalty goal. Let's see what happens here. I don't get it. Unless they're not giving him the goal. Yeah, he's not going There we uh, go. Yeah, it's too docile. He needs to get some Mark Zupan energy and argue that. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that always Mark's always makes it. Uh, he'll make it exciting for you. Yeah. All right. Good position on Mark, make himself open for the inbound here. Let's see if Tampa can go. He needs a pick. He needs a pick. Oh, there we go. Yeah, no. Tampa, Keep working. Yeah, Tampa Keep working, needs. Steve. Tampa needs. Look at there. It's a nice pass to Justin. Nice, nice. Back just All across. Day. You can't see the distance. Way to work, guys. And there goes Mark. Nice. Oh. oh that was really quite Is that a spin? A, Let's see what they call it. Uh, Is that going to be a penalty from goal? There. I don't know what the call is here. Yep, he's gives you giving the goal. Only goal. And uh, Mark, uh, they're checking him out there, making sure he's okay. Make sure he's okay before they get him up. And there he is. There you can, that could be a hard hit on the head coming yeah. down like that. That was a, a hard uh, fall. Absolutely, yeah. Mark, uh, Mark's got some good rugby years on him. He's a tough guy. Yeah, well, you know what? Uh, we in Tampa, you know, we, we're used to seeing quad rugby guys getting thrown out of their chairs. Uh, of course, <laughs> if you know Brian uh, Sterner, this guy got knocked out of his chair by a sheriff. And uh, Wow, what a story that was. Yeah, that story that was. And he was, uh, yeah, that's right. Four, five, it was over. But we had, the, we had the tip and then we had the turnover. Right. We have a little bit of a exactly. conversation here with the... Uh, the referees. Eric is going to bring the ball in. And see what, uh, when you go up, if you go up, there's always that question, right? <laughs> Don't count it before it happens. You're not kidding. Yeah, that whole uh, Brian Sterner thing was uh, unfortunate that that uh, went down, you know. But we had a chance to, to get to know Brian a little bit during the... Uh, the game, uh, the Tampa tournament, when it came over with burning incense next to our booth. Uh, so we have a, a little sense of Brian's uh, character. And it, You've experienced the Sterner yep, six, uh, phenomenon. The 6 4, the easy score there. And oh, we have a turnover here. Mark oh. pulls it in there. Erica with good hard, hands. Boys. Gotta work hard. Time is coming out at 31. Nice pass there. Justin crowds it in. And uh, work hard, work hard. Ryan on the right wing, and he sees him, and there it is. Nice goal. Nice patience, nice patience. Let's see if Tampa can get a, a turnover here. It may sound like I'm a little biased, yeah. obviously, because I'm with Tampa all the time. I'll try not to. Well, be. well you know what? We got a 
be careful of that. I, uh, I agree. I'm from Tampa, and uh, <laughs> maybe that's why we're covering this game a little bit. Uh, yeah, yeah. But on the other hand, you know what? I, I, I this Michigan team, I, I, a lot of respect for them. Look at that long pass. Absolutely. Nicely done, but Absolutely. here comes Ryan to say hello. You're not oh. going to get and a turnover. Tampa right. with a turnover. Beautifully do. done, and a long pass to Mark Hickey. And there we go. There we go, and a score, and they tie that one back up. That away. And just so we were saying, you just can't count on anybody. <laughs> Beautiful. I mean, that was looked like it was going to be an easy breakaway there. The pass was down there to Andy Zimmer, but Andy, uh, a low pointer, just couldn't hold on to it long enough. And Tampa came and banged on him, and the ball came loose. Yeah, he showed. You know, he showed a little experience. He had oh. Sheridan there for yeah. him. Scott Severin to, uh, for a high handoff, but it just didn't go well. Scott Severin with the score. Um, he makes it look easy, Scott. He sure does. Now, he was struck by lightning. Now, I know. Part. I heard it. I heard that. I was, uh... You know, how do you like that for a little thing? He was an Army vet, and he was here in the United States and hit by lightning. It's like, you know, you think about being an Army vet. An ar he was an Army, in the <laughs> Army, and you, all the things that could happen to you with Afghan, Afghani war, Iraqi yep, war, yep. and you get hit by lightning, you know, like... Told you that if you're in the army, you're not safe anyway. That's <laughs> it. I'm sorry to say that, but anyway. I agree. I agree. Coming from Canada, um, you know, we're always interested oh. in the news oh, stories so out there. What do we have here? Well, uh, is there action before the? Uh, they gonna do a penalty there? Looks like contact yeah, before, before the whistle. And uh, who's that gonna be against? Oh, it's, it's against on, Michigan. Yeah, I think it's on no. blue. No. Um, oh, it was a warning. It was a oh. warning. Yeah, yeah. First warning. All right, Erica looking to find somebody, and look how tight nice Tampa work, is covering Mark. everybody. Nice but work. Big Let's see arms. if they can force that Got deep pass. Here it is again. Let's see how this works okay, out. Okay, here it is, and this it's ball pretty is... Good there. Oh, he ah, got it. Boy. Off to the races. That a boy. I love it when a low pointer, you know, pulls it in and scores. I'm sorry, you know, to give them their moment to cross the goal line. You don't <laughs> see that too often. It was a solid play, too. It was yeah. along the sideline. He had to go over his shoulder to get that ball. Yeah. All right. Here well, we go. Look at that. Big pressure, big hits. Oh, Ryan's got to catch up with Justin. Nice pass, nice pass. Justin pulls it in there. Justin's such a solid player. Uh, I really admire it, watching him out there, and uh, but he does so much more for the community, the disability community. He works at the Florida Spinal Cord Injury Center in Tampa. Uh, he organized that Tampa tournament. Uh, you know, he's always out there doing stuff in the community. Uh, he's just a just a great great guy and. Um, you know, he's on the development team. He's, he what, is, how many people yeah. they have? They've got what? Uh, he's, he's gotten his due, yeah. And, and that's what I was going to say earlier. In the community and for the sport, Justin is one of these types of guys that um, does so much oh, for the sport. Easy score for Michigan there. Not, a lot of nice picking went on there to, to open that lane up. Absolutely. Uh, we need more people like Justin out there for sure to do uh, good things for the sport. Yeah. The USQRA development team has Ryan Lingstrom on it also, and I think uh, does, isn't uh, is it one more person? Justin, Ryan, and uh, uh, Ryan Kress. They got three people yes. on that, and they're getting some real good quality time in that, preparing them to take on to be the next generation going to the Paralympics. Very smart of uh, the USQRA to, to make that choice to start a team. Um, and Dave Cerruti, the coach, is also coaching the, uh, the team. I didn't uh, actually know that. I know he's been coaching for two years, and uh, look at that. Look at that speed. And oh, hit, what a nice, nice Ryan Lynch from coming oh. out there and making a nice hit and a pass and a score. But but you know what? It looked like it was a runaway, and uh, Ryan Lynch from caught up with him. And you know, uh, that shows you why he was uh, best 3 0 for uh, a high pointer at the Atlanta sectionals and the Atlanta South playoffs. Absolutely. He's uh, a headsy player. And we're going to love seeing these guys at the veteran games. I'll tell you what, that's going to be fun. We'll be there. Yeah. Oh, good. Sables going to the veteran games, oh, going nice. to junior disability championships. Oh, we, wow. We try to cover a lot of things. And uh, wheelchair college basketball, we were there for the finals. Uh, we're, we're going to be covering the softball uh, Tampa, Tampa tournament coming up. Uh, really? In May. Easy score for Michigan. I knew some of the X Sable has uh, really changed uh, uh, wheelchair sports as far as bringing it to the next step. Xable is uh, a great website I've been on, and I'm, I'm kind of addicted to it now. <laughs> That's good. Add it on your favorites. We're a minute and a half left. Uh, the score is 11-10. Uh, 
Michigan is up by one. Tampa with the ball, and let's see if they're going to tie it up here. Possessions are going to be key. Oh, nice. Nice. Mark, Mark shows such veteran skills there. Sure oh, does. no, and I say that, and then he throws the ball away. What? A, that's a big turnover there. Yeah, yeah. Well, Mark, uh, I should not say anything. I like the curse. Here comes an easy score. They go ahead by two. And about uh, 50 seconds left, we're a two-possession game, perhaps, because there's a 11 seconds difference on the clock. You got it. That's huge. And it comes to games like this where it's tight. That 40-second clock plays a, a big role. All right, let's see what Tampa can do here. Maybe if Tampa can force a penalty and get a reset of the clock. Yeah. Might allow him to... Uh, oh, big hit there, but uh, Mark Hickey holds onto the ball and he scores, and he leaves him a long time to... Uh, they have 38 seconds, so uh, there's a chance perhaps they might even get another possession, but they have the whole they have the whole clock to use. They sure do. They have the option of scoring last goal. They're down, they're down by one at this moment. <laughs> That's good. 12-11, we are... We've had all these issues all off and on uh, with the clock, and there's been issues, of course, with the game, and uh, uh, there's been some uh, some real excitement going on. Uh, you know, we've actually uh, got on film some interesting calls that were with the Lakeshore, Texas game. Yeah, I was going to ask you about that. Uh, what did you see? Uh, there was a couple of calls in that Texas Lakeshore game. One went for Texas, one went for Lakeshore. Yeah. I, uh, and then the final one was a good call. Nice, but you know nice. what? Um, it's tough. It's tough on these uh, the refs. It's split-second decisions, and so I'm feeling good that that they won one either way. Because it the, usually the, evens out. Yeah, the Texas. There was a call where up and back where yep. actually the guy, uh, uh, I think it was um, Mark, Mark Zupan, actually called timeout, landed in on the right side, got pushed over, but he had called timeout. If they had given him a timeout, it would have been good. They didn't. They lost possession, so they needed to tie it up. And then they, they gave him the, the tie and goal, Wins and actually the buzzer went off, and you could yeah. see the wheels hadn't yeah. crossed the line. But it was. It evens out, right? Point, right, it evens out. Look at it, Michigan. What a, oh! What a hit. Did we. Look at what. And turnover. there's that turnover. What a big hit. Seconds. Who gave that big hit there? I'm just. Well, it, was a, it was a team. Uh, Team effort. It looked like uh, the old wow. Silver Fox there. And 23 Ryan seconds, and Tampa has the opportunity to tie it up. I'll tell you what, this uh, Tampa team is uh, is hanging in there, and uh, they, they're actually a, a, a seed better, a one place better, but uh, this is a good matchup. Good matchup. Absolutely. It's going to be a close game all the way through. See what they, uh, okay. see what they do. Yeah, a long pass to Mark. Oh, Mark, can he get it? It's a oh, race. Oh, right at half. Oh, and he got it. And he's going, he's going, he's nice. going. And this is it. Oh, looking at the clock. He's got six, five, four, and he's over. Wow, And they just give like him that. five seconds left on the clock. Erica with the ball. Let's they see what they can do. Barely got over half Cal there. Pass. Let's see what happens. Lots of time. And there man. it is. Yeah. Four, three. I don't think they're going to no, do it. That's no. it. Well, look at that, eh? And that is a tie game at the end of the first quarter. We'll be right back after... Uh, as we say, station identification <laughs> here on xable.com. <laughs>